look, I'm, I'm a barrister. You cannot tell me the law. Once you have done the crime, you cannot go back to be charged for the same offense. Sorry, once you have done the time. Let's just keep nonsense. What's up, what's happening? My name is Faust, aka Faust, the bad guy. Ladies and gentlemen, they also call me the Bob Daddy. And right now, I'm inside cracks. About to play. <laughs> oh my Jesus. About to play the Never Have I Ever game. I know, I know that my drunkenness is off our jets today. Because I, my, my God is bigger than you. Let's go. Never have I ever farted and blamed it on someone else. <laughs> this was a normal doing. Now everybody do do it. Normally, you find yourself in a public place. You know, there's much people there. At least there's no way that they can suspect. So, because nobody can expect, you know. So, just look at the nearest person. Anybody that looks like it can be the one that... <laughs> I can blame it on him. More, very many times I, I, I don't do it. Yeah. Never have I ever used my status to get a fever or get myself out of a situation. It depends on the on the scenario. I mean, normally if police stop me on the road and they see my face and you know they they do normally allow me, but that one is not. I'm not the one that asks for the fever. I get him. They just say that okay. Ah. But boy, Lily, you know, come and be going because it can be a problem for us in future. I'm a good citizen of Nigeria. So if I find myself in any situation like this, I don't make use of undue influence. I, I don't do such things. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a very upright, upstanding member of society. So I'm not drinking to that one. Never have I ever crushed on a fan. I mean, uh, you know, I'm a single man. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a young man uh, and I do have a high for beautiful young ladies. So. I see somebody that you know do attracted my fans, uh, you know, why not? So I'm I'm sure it's something that I mean I cannot remember exact details, but I am sure it's something that, that has happened before. Let me not talk too much. Never have I ever flirted with someone way older than I am. Well, like I'm a yummy mommy. Yeah, I like my older women. Yeah, Mature is always nice. Maturity, maturity is a very good thing. I think my oldest, um, oldest, I would say 43 years old. Not too bad. Bear in mind, I'm, I'm, well, at the time, I was 28, I think. Not too bad. Never have I ever taken off the rule I didn't like. I mean, like, for me to take it off, I must like it now. What other rule? <laughs> you are dirty children. You are, you, are, you are very dirty children. Is that the thing that you do in your spare time? <laughs> oh, crack. Say, she my mouth for the case, have you? Oh. No, you asked her. You said. Eh, that kind of so. role. Normally, I don't find that kind of stuff. I, I do find it funny. So, <laughs> I, I got to be able to do that role, playing stuff, and, and keep a straight face. Um, so actually, I've never done that before. <laughs> um, if that's what's me in the bedroom, no, I've never done that before. <laughs> never have I ever hooked up with someone famous. Which hook up are you talking? You are, you are bad children in this place. What do you mean by hook up? Define hook up. What do you think I'm talking about? Hook up, like we meet up. We, yeah, of course, we, are, we do normally meet up in our spare time. You know, maybe for for layer purpose. I don't kiss and tell. <laughs> If I share this one, I'll be in trouble. <laughs> so let's leave it there. Never have I ever been embarrassingly drunk. Oh, Mutila wa. Oh, Mutila wa. Oh, Mutila wa. Embarrassingly, in my younger days. Many times, you know, I, I don't remember how I got back. But then the time that I so drunk when I got to the front of uh, my halls of residence, I vomited so bad, so badly, like at the entrance, that the uh, the attendant, the person that was like in charge of me, <laughs> made me clean it in my drunkest state. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll, I'll never forget that because it was, it was. I just felt like I felt so stressed. I'm like, guy, I'm going through a lot already. <laughs> and you're making me do this. Yeah, that was a bad experience. Ah, I don't forgive you for what you are doing to me. 
Never have I ever been heartbroken. Nope, never been heartbroken. I'm drink to this. I have never been heartbroken. So do as a popular saying it goes. It goes reach everybody. Never have I ever forgotten the lines of my song while performing. Ah. Uh, <laughs> it's all that normal stuff now. It's all that normal stuff. It do, it do happen on a regular basis. But what if it's swag be? Why look swaga? Or that's how you find yourself in that kind of scenario. There is no way anybody must know. You have to, you know, <laughs> there are many other things. That's why we are entertainers. You know, while, while you're on stage, you are there for entertainment purposes. If you find yourself forgetting your lyric, make sure you continue entertaining your audience so that you don't realize that this guy actually forgot his lyric. But yeah, that that that, that I've happened before. Yeah. Never have I ever been to an adult store. I mean, maybe like in a mall, just you know, you're just walking by and you just see that they, and you just you know, for entertainment purposes, but not to not to patronize them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, see what you've been doing to me. Not not necessarily to patronize them. I I have to explain myself. In a mall, you can see that there's adult store there. Just go and check, okay, what are you people selling? It's not, I didn't buy anything there. Are you happy now? Never have I ever written a song out of personal experience. How many songs? I think you people are, you are, you, <laughs> you are determined from my drunkenness because, of course, now, many songs. Soft work, I feel like it's the story of my life, or at least it, it was a song that very much represented how I was feeling in entirety at that very time. So that maybe that's one of the most personal songs that I've written actually, soft work. Still life it shows I could have been in shame bars. No regret. This is not a pay pass. Never have I ever liked to get myself out of a shoe. Ah uh, no man no. <laughs> I'm not available. I'm not I'm not in town. I'm not in town. I think that's the most common. That's the most common. Um, if you speak to a artist and they tell you he's not in town, it could also mean you don't want to come to your event. So just giving you a little bit of a tip. That's uh, something that we do say normally. But there's no way that you can know because we may also not be in town. So sorry for you. Never have I ever regretted kissing someone. Never. I don't look back. I live life with no regret. I live life. I do anything I do. I do it with my full chest. Don't regret. Nope. Not drinking to that. Never have I ever brand about something I have never done. No. That's not me. That don't sound like me. That don't sound like me. I'm a, I'm a man of honesty. A man of integrity. I, I, I'm not into the business of deceit. I'm not into, I'm, I'm not into deceiving people. I'm not into fraudulent behavior. That's not my nature. No, I don't do such things. Never have I ever said I love you without meaning it. I've never said to a woman I love you. I've only said I love you to family and I meant every single word of it. I've never said to a woman uh, in a romantic setting, I love you. I don't know whether I did good thing or a bad thing because I'm a head positive. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I've, I've, I've never. Never have I ever been to the hospital for something embarrassing. <laughs> maybe, your, maybe your genital is crashing you. <laughs> <laughs> eh? Maybe you you have a crow crow. No, no, no. I don't. I don't think. I think I'm. Uh, I can be proud of all my past sickness. <laughs> okay. Yes. Actually. Yes. 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 At some point, um, I was in the UK at the time. I was still in uni. I was. Ah, this is so hilarious. I. <laughs> so um, my glasses. Um. The way that it works, I buy the glass complete. So I will now remove the uh, the glass inside. So what happened on this very day? This one is proving very difficult. So I now carry knife, table knife, to remove the glass. I don't know that the pressure is much. <laughs> so on removing the glass, the knife went straight through my hand and cut my finger. Like this part of my hand was divided into two. I could see right inside. Like it was a very very deep cut, and I had to go to the hospital because it was just like it was the, I was bleeding a lot. And then on getting there, they asked me, ah, "What happened to your hand?" I, 
it was very difficult for me to really explain. Um, I just said, um, you know, it was it was a cut, and I, I didn't give further details. But um, I felt quite embarrassed. That that's how I got the cut. Yeah, I think that's the most embarrassing. Oh yeah. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. It's okay. I'm coming. Let's go! Never have I ever been handcuffed. Do you mean for a criminal offense or in a, in a private setting? But funny enough, um, I was in Canada 2019. Um, I had an event. I had an event and um, this was like after the performance. I, I think we were heading to a club. And uh, there were five of us in the car. I was sitting right behind the driver. And this policeman pulled us over. A white, a white police officer pulled us over. And, you know, all black people in the car in uh, Winnipeg. I'll never forget. And um, the guy just came straight to where I was. He said, can you uh, put, put the window down? And then the window came down. And he said, why are you not wearing your seatbelt? I didn't mean seatbelt in the back seat. This is exactly what I asked him. I said, seatbelt in the back? And he said, yes, in the back. Can you step out the vehicle, sir? I stepped out of the vehicle. I said, hello, you are. This thing is, what's happening? Can you step to the back of the vehicle, sir? Ah, okay. I followed him to the back of the vehicle. Can you put your hands behind you, sir? Ah, okay. My, before I know, I'm feeling something cold. <laughs> ah, I cough. Out of nowhere, for nothing, this man put me in handcuffs, put me in the back of the police vehicle, and said he was taking me to the station. Um, there was a lot of discussion, a lot of explanation. Um, you know, obviously, my manager was, was there at the time, you know. He had to... <laughs> they almost handcuffed him too. <laughs> he had to do a lot of explanation. Sir, this guy is a superstar in Africa. Do you know who are coughing? Yeah, that was a very, very crazy experience. After this, my long story, I know I still have to drink. No worry, don't remind me. <laughs> Never have I ever lied. I think that's a very good one. That's a very good one. Oh, you're smart. You're very smart. You're very smart. Uh, but I'm not going to drink to that. You don't know if I just lied again. That was, that was, that was the unfortunate thing for you. So sorry about that. How do you feel? I, I feel very okay. Um, you know, normally these are things that we do consume in our spare time. So, you know, it's not, it's not a big deal for me. Oh, that's not, I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling nice. I'm feeling super shy. Let's go. I so much enjoy myself. Um, you know, I know you put your home. It's to get somebody drunk in this place, but my God is bigger than you. 